Hey, this is Shamarta. How you doing, girl? I'm fine, you? I'm good. So for those of you who don't know, Shamarta is the young lady that flew out to L.A. to see Future, and then he canceled her hotel room and all that when she wouldn't have sex with him. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> what made you decide to put it out there? For one, when I got there, okay, I... I made it there Saturday. Like this past weekend? Uh-huh. Okay. I got there Saturday. She knew I was staying till Monday. She only booked my room for one night. So that means he had plans on having sex with me, putting me out, and not paying me my money. So I put it out. When they told me I had to leave my room and I had to pay for another room, I just put it out because I was mad at the time. So has Future contacted you since? Of course not. <laughs> so has anybody no. from his team reached out, like, being that you put him on blast or no? No. He knew what he did. He knew he was wrong. So, no. So how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, so you first met him in Miami, right? Uh-huh. So how long ago was that? We started talking in March. But when I saw him, it was in Miami, which was like three weeks ago. How did you meet him? Um, I seen him on Instagram. I mean, I seen him a heart on Instagram. And he asked me for my number. And we've been talking since. Oh, so y'all met through the DM? Yeah. Oh, okay. So y'all met on Instagram. Then y'all linked up in Miami three weeks ago. Nothing yeah, popped off. Cool. Okay, nothing popped off in Miami. Me. No. Did y'all go on a date or anything? No, he just he asked me to come to the studio, and I went to the studio and listened to whatever he was recording, his music. And then he asked you to fly out to L.A.? Yeah, which he never tried me. He never said nothing about sex. He never tried me. So I went to Kelly. I didn't think that he wanted sex. So why did you pay for your own flight? Because by him being who he is, he said he would give me my money back. I didn't think that he wouldn't give me my money back because 550 is isn't nothing to him. So I thought that he would give me my money back. I know, he but he's, like, rich. So why can't he just, like, pay for it off the rip? I don't know. I just thought about him saying that <laughs> he would give me my money back and him being who he was, that he would give me my money back. So, of course, I booked the flight. So you booked the flight. You came out there. You know, you text him. You're like, I'm here. And that's when things went left. And you, what happened again? Things went left when he called me on FaceTime and told me I should be waiting on him with lingerie on. That's when things went left. And I told him I wasn't on that type of time, which I wasn't. I didn't pack lingerie. I wasn't thinking to pack lingerie when I was packing my bag. So you never thought one time when you met up with him in L.A. that y'all would have sex? <laughs> no. He never. He didn't try to have sex with me in Miami. No, so. no, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, it, never, like, it never went through your mind? Like, you never thought about it? Like, like I'm going out here to see this guy. Like, am I going to have sex with him? No, I just thought we was going to meet up again and chill like we did before. Okay. So... When he sent the infamous line, you know, I'm good, love and joy, that's the last time you talked to him. Um, no, his his baby mom, mama, Brittany, called me and asked who I was. And I just hung up the phone because I didn't know what was going on. And after I put the story out, she um, DM'd me on Instagram and told me she was the one that called me. But anyway, when she did that, I texted him. When she called my phone, I texted him. I was like, do you know someone called my phone? And he called me not to answer. So then after that, when I found out my kids stopped working, and I told, I just told him he was lying for what he did, and I didn't do nothing but book another room, which, I mean, I was never stranded for one. Mm -hmm. I'm not an Instagram model. I'm a hairstylist. I have my own money. I was never screened. I always had the funds. I always traveled. So When Brittany DM'd you, what did she say? Um, she just told me that she was sorry that happened to me and told me it was lame that he did that. Oh, okay, that's respect. So yeah. when you put it out there, you put it on Facebook originally, though, right? Yeah. So when you put it on Facebook, like, what did you want to happen? Like, what were you expecting to happen after you put it out there? I mean, I just wanted to tell what happened because I was mad at what he did. Like, how can you, you knew I came by myself. Like, how can you cancel my room? Well, not really cancel, but how can you only book my room for one night? You knew, I told you I came by myself. So I was mad at the time, and I put it out just to tell my story. And from the looks of it, by me telling the story, he did plenty more people like that. The only difference is they him and I didn't. What do you think about people like dragging you on social media or saying like you know you knew what time it was you flew across country to see future like you know what else did you expect like did you really think he was just gonna sit there and like take you on an ice cream date? I mean like I said before I thought we was gonna chill like we did in Miami. Okay. He didn't try me in Miami so when we got to Kelly I didn't think he would try me. Okay all right so how do you feel about the situation overall now? I mean I don't really care I deal with I deal with negativity well so I don't really, I mean, I don't care. 
<laughs> so what do you want the people to know? Me. Like, what do you want the world to know about Shamartis? That I'm not just an Instagram model. I'm not an Instagram model from when I have an account just like everybody else. And I post pictures <laughs> just like everybody else. I never said I was a model. Uh-huh. I'm a business owner. I have my own money. I'm not a go digger. Like, all that they saying about me, and I was never screaming. All that they saying about me are lies. I don't know where they're getting this from, but... Okay, I have a yeah. question. Would you do this again? If a guy was like, yo, fly out to see me, would you do the same thing again? No. <laughs> so you learned no, your lesson. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I mean, it's cool. I, I only lost out on five feet. You know, I'm sure I'll make it. Well, I have made it back since then, of course. But, I mean, I learned my lesson. I would never do it again. And if it was a broke guy, of course, I would never pass my flight. Okay. All right, girl. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks for calling. Uh-huh.